one of these underground burbs comes with all the modern amenities you've come to expect from our rip-roaring republic. Now, this corridor here is Sycamore Street, where you'll wave howdy to any one of your 200 neighbors on your way home from... 200. Okay. Is that how many there are in there? Now, this isn't just your average all-American family. No, Lloyd and Cassandra here are both scientists, specializing in the effects of radiation on human DNA. Mm. That's right. And we'll be living and working right here in Vault 4, leading a community governed Will they? entirely by scientists. Wait a second. Did you say living down here? Well, there hasn't been a nuclear incident, has there? Uh, no, not yet. And now you can be a hero, too. By purchasing a residence in Vault Tech Vault today. Is that a real number? <laughs> because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need Americans just like you to build a better day after. Cut. That's great tech. You happy? Fellas, are you happy? <laughs> that switch between black and white and color was great. Bud asked me can I ever see the Southern California operations. I uh, came over to Vault Tech in Q3 after a 10 year stint at West Tech. West Tech. West Tech. <laughs> Hmm. I'm uh, very familiar with you guys. You designed the T45 power armor. The first of its kind. No, I ah, okay. Roll out. You know, the design flaws are great for this deal list, but they sure look great. I wore a T45 when we almost lost the great state of Alaska to the Reds. Mm. The design flaws here has cost a lot of good men and women. Is that the one we saw in the sand yeah. a couple episodes ago? Yeah, but it was never my boat. Hmm. Time is the ultimate number. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. It sounds complicated, but the future of all humanity comes down to one word. Yeah, what's that? Management. Huh. Hmm. Well, I'm awful happy for you, Buck. That was also written in Blood on the Wall, wasn't it? Destroy management. I'm glad, I'm glad they're keeping up with the backstory. Hollywood actor friends, they want to be seen celebrating with the pitch man for the end of the world. Oh, you don't know the half of it. You hear I lost a movie over these ads? Man, really? Showed up to set. The actors wouldn't come out of their trailers. Lionel Lewis said it was on moral grounds. But the future, my friend, is products. You're a product, I'm a product. The end of the world is a product. Yeah. And for those of us who can successfully embrace that, I'd say the future is golden. To the future. The future. Fuck the future. I know you mentioned you're eager to keep moving, but your friend is going to have to recover here for a couple of days before it's safe to travel. I'm fine. I'm fine. You had a rotten human tooth lodged in your shoulder. Yeah. You're not fine. You have yeah, to keep that thing uh, disinfecting her. You should listen to his advice. But I got to admit, it sure feels good to be back in a vault. I don't know if you've been to the surface, but... It is not good. I was born on the surface. Huh. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I didn't know. You seem so normal. <laughs> <laughs> My mother was a courier. That's I one way of putting it. I traveled with her to Philly. Three days walk from home and we could still feel the heat from the blast. You're from Shady Sands. Many of us are. We were lucky to find such a hospitable community yeah. in Vault 4. So Vault 4 brought in some refugees, huh? We just need you to stay in quarantine a few hours longer to make sure you don't track in any contamination. You want to have sex? You mean use my cock? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is this conversation? Thing. Well, just for some guys, not me, uh, but uh -huh. for some guys, you know, when they make a move, it gets all big and hard like a big pimple, and then it pops. I'm gonna say it could happen to anybody, but it's still. It's, it's gross. You know, that's uh, that's actually completely normal. Yeah, it's meant to happen. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard it put that way, though. Good to me, Dad. Also, I would feel bad. I think these people are trying to trap us here. Well, they're not. Why don't you say that? Some of these people are from the surface, like you. Yeah. 
Are you a cult? A cult. Same as any of us. Not a cult. Everyone's smiling. Titus, this is a safe place. Yeah, it's because they're safe, happy, and comfortable. So, give this place a shot. Sorry to interrupt your breakfast, but our overseer wanted to say a quick hello. Uh. Overseer Benjamin. Whoa! Overseer and Titus. Hey guys! Cyclops. I to say hi. Well, and obviously, welcome to Vault 4. Just some housekeeping, a few things to be aware of. Stay out of level 12. Obviously, we prefer you not go there. Oh, and we only What's on level, level 12? So if you want to play, you gotta sign up. Asking is less embarrassing than getting it wrong. Trust me, we've had True. incident after incident with newcomers. Okay, that should cover it. <laughs> Any questions or concerns beyond foosball or pencils or bathrooms? Yeah. Birdies available. Why do you have one eye? Again, welcome to Vault 4. We're glad to have you. Thank you. Sometimes though having one eye just doesn't look so good. But that didn't look so bad. What's going on on this right. fault? Right? The overseer? That's what I'm saying. Look, people are nice. Oh. Titus, I'm talking about his eye. Lots of people have one eye. Well not in the center yeah. of their head. Yours sure. I mean, was in the middle. A little to the left. And the level twelve stuff? I mean, they're experimenting on something or other. Sorry. What the fuck? Have a nice day. <laughs> All right, Vault Four is weird. What's going on? But Vault Tech exists with or without me. Doesn't do anyone any good to complain from the sideline. All I'm saying is. We have this one life. Do you really want to spend your nine to fives working with these assholes? I need this job. Doomsday preference by the sounds of things. It guarantees us a spot in the vault. We've got money. Yeah. We can buy a spot in the vault. One of the good vaults. One of the good ones. What's that supposed to mean? I think she said too much. So you work with vault Tech, you get a good vault. If you're not working with vault Tech, you get like a... A shitty one? <laughs> one that's probably not going to protect you from much or something? Yes. There will be no dogs in the vault. And no, none of it is ideal. But if billions of people are going to lose their lives, I will do whatever it takes to make sure the people I love, that is you and that is Jamie, aren't among them. I have worked hard. Just tell us who makes the fucking rules, woman. We go Fuck. Into a special <sighs> vault for management, where we will oversee management. Vault. You don't get it. That is the best we can possibly hope for. For Jamie. Hmm. Oversee the other vaults. Hmm. But hey, that's something. You don't need a natural born vault dweller every day. We're a dying breed. Oh, you're you're from here? Five generations. Huh. Oh, well, I just saw it because because so many uh could have been banging his cousins. To be refugees from the surface. Tell me about it. Well, these people, am I right? <laughs> well, we took our share of the men and gave them a home because it's what we do. But it's like you can't make a funny joke about it without offending these guys. I mean, one funny joke I told on maybe ten occasions. What was the joke? Mm. I forget. All I know is it was a huge bomb. <laughs> Pretty good, right? No. Oh, she doesn't get it. Mm. Any other questions? I do have one. Uh, what's on level 12 and why can't we go there? We don't talk about that. Jeez, what's the matter with you? Nah. Sorry, I... You should go now. She shouldn't have pushed it. To... Goodbye, Goosey. Huh. Well, you know she's gonna go looking at level twelve. Hmm, do you think he's gonna go native or is Lucy gonna discover something that makes him get the hell out of there? Well, yes, 
first hot shower. Twenty one forty two Shady Sands was founded. Twenty one eighty nine New California, capital of the what? Political powerhouse in twenty forty one. Thirty years later, it fell to a bomb. The government. <laughs> well, yeah. that was quick. <laughs> the fuck? I'd be laughing too. Okay. What the fuck is happening? Thanks for coming. Yeah, we'll see if I stay. You'll stay. Uh, it's very uh, cult-like. Moldova. Bring back the past as we remember. We bring back the fuck it is a cult. Mr. Howard. Ah. Fuck. Yeah, so she is about two hundred years old. But she's not Vault Tech, obviously. It's pretty anti volt at this point. They did call it a surface-dwelling tradition. Fuck. <laughs> what is going on, man? These are called oysters? You want one? They make you feel so good. You want to make my cock explode now? Sorry. <laughs> Intercourse? No, that is... Focus, brother, focus. Right now. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to go back on our deal and, and just be somewhere that is good and safe. Mm. But this isn't it. They gave me a robe. I know. And slippers. Yeah, it's a nice robe. These people are hiding something from us. I'm gonna prove it to you. Okay? <sighs> She's gonna get a level twelve. You. Tell him about Moldova. What the fuck, Knuckle? It's a gulper. Was that dead, though? Yeah. It's a test lab of some kind. Is that a person's face? Yep. That's how people end up with like one eye or two noses. Gave birth to some fish, and then they ate her. All right, so Vault Four is kind of fucked up. 
I just don't know why though. She's pregnant. So many. Oh. Oh, is it like food sauce or something? Oh, man. Alright, so Titus needs to take the power core. These people can fuck off. Probably. I just don't know what the fuck is the purpose. Yeah, he's gone native. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, so Vault 4 is messed up. There's a surface dwelling tradition, apparently, about worshipping Moldava. Who seems fairly anti vault tech. Um, I don't know. Apparently, there's good vaults and bad vaults. Uh, but yeah, well, those test subjects are messed up. Like, that woman gave birth to some fish, and then the fish ate her. And what happened to the fish then? Were they just, like, let out into the wild or what? I don't know. I don't understand the purpose. Hopefully we get more answers next episode, but God, this was a fascinating episode. This is only episode six too. Um, yeah. So apparently what? 200 people can fit inside of a vault. That seems to be what that, at the beginning episode that was mentioned. Um, yeah. I don't know. We're getting more answers from the past, but we're not getting enough to satisfy anyone's curiosity. And there's only two episodes left. Yeah, so hopefully all our questions are answered. But who knows, man? You have to join me next time for episode 7, because damn. If you guys enjoyed this reaction and want to see more, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and join me next time. I'll see you there.